Good morning, guys. We've got ourselves a lovely day here for the 2012 Cleveland Auto Show. It's about 31 degrees, and we've got ourselves some snow coming down. Son of a bitch. But I'm not driving, so I guess that's okay. My grandfather's gonna be here at 10.30, and it's already 10.20, and I'm surprised he's not here. He's usually about 10 minutes early anywhere he goes. But as soon as he gets here, we're gonna run over, pick up Cannon, go up, have brunch at some restaurant up near uh, the airport, get into the show, Taylor's coming to the show, and it should be an awesome day. That's what trucks do best, tie up traffic on the turnpike. Hi, Ryan. Boston Mills Ski Resort. Uh, Almost there. Are the familiar sights, sounds, and smells of Cleveland Hopkins. I do not understand what that sign means. Cell phone lot. Why? What does that mean? Passing the Malibu, the Ford, the Hyundai. Welcome to the IX Center. God, that is awful. Oh, the sound of an aircraft taking off. Love it. Yeah, finally Ford makes a good looking car. We're inside the IX Center. It's not quite like uh, the Kobo Center in Detroit, which you didn't want to go to. No, that's not it. That's, uh, yeah, that's what he says. That's what he says. So we got the Fusion. And the Focus! The Focus! Alright, 2012 something Mustang POS. We're gonna see if it passes the door test. The answer, a resounding no. So that's the 5 liter, and they have three of these, and two Boss 302s. And I guess they're good performance, but build quality just has a lot to be desired. And you get to the west entrance, so take that one. The west entrance is on the other side of the east entrance. Saw one of those downtown, and then we got ourselves a uh, friggin' Jag, XF maybe, Maseratis, another Jag. Yeah, the Jag's nice, anyways. Okay, Taylor made it. We're over here at Toyota now. It's a, the Prius C. Uh, he's got the Ferrari shirt, so that's good news. Yep. We haven't seen any Ferraris yet. Wow. Yeah, look at that exhaust. That's remarkable. Is trying to copy. Oh, you guys fit well. You can take a long road trip together. That'd be weird. He can't drive me. I can drive him. Very small. I like the gauges. That's cool. Lexus LFA. The first one I've actually seen. I don't think they had one in Detroit. If they did, maybe I filmed it and just forgot about it. No, I don't remember. I can't anyone! It's got big brakes on it. I, think, I guess it's cool looking, but I, I think it's really ugly too. This is very nice. Taylor, what is this? Explain. It's an uh, Lexus LS. Lexus LS 460, all-wheel drive. It's got a big nav screen here. I, I don't think it is touch. Oh, yes it is. Oh, cool. Rear heated seats, big ass rear heated seats, sunroof. Uh, this is this is great. It'd be better if Taylor weren't in the driver's seat, though. <laughs> well, we opened the hood on the LS460, and this is all we see. They tell us it's a 4.6 liter V8, but that's all we see. We got Ken and Chicken out the Ferrari killer here. It's a Ferrari killer. Yep. But I step very well with my brand. Brand more. In an S-Class 4-matic, Mercedes are beautiful on the outside, but their interiors have a long way to go. Just sat in an E-Class and a C-Class. They're great on the outside, but I hate the interiors. Here's the E-Class. CL63. AMG. Very nice on the outside. Don't know about the inside. And that's the E350 Bluetech. New SL. E350 Coupe. SLS AMG in red. SLK350. They've got a great display here. That's nice. Yeah, 
this this is the the big one the 6.3 they say it's a 6.3 it's actually a 6.2 liter v8 200,000 201 oh freaking rates ipads very cool the home button blocked off of course that's neat though ipad 2s with cameras Kind of. Very neat. That's over here at the Volkswagen uh, area. They've got a bunch of cars, socks, and all kinds of stuff. Volkswagen. Uh, Using iPhone. Yep. Name the car, ladies and gentlemen. Electric car. Porsche 911. Panamera Hybrid and Cayenne. Best car in the show. Oh, it, yeah, that is seven speed now. Seven speed manual. Yeah, Mercedes just can't figure out how to make a real car with the clutch. They, they don't know. They only know there's two pedal pussy ass cars. The A7. We saw it in Detroit. Now it's in Cleveland. We've seen a couple on the roads. It's very, very good looking on the exterior. The interior, I think, is good. Uh, I didn't like the seats in this particular one. They seem to be uh, some sort of a vinyl and not the high quality leather that I found in the Mercedes and the BMWs. Really looks nice. I don't know if I like the black out grill. Uh, it's beautiful though. Uh, aside from the seats and there are a lot of buttons on the interior. I don't know if they make this in a six-speed, but I would definitely want a six-speed. So Audi's just got a little bit smaller of a setup here than they had uh, in Detroit, obviously. TT slash R8, A3, and uh, there's a real R8, and an S4. I guess we'll take a look at the R8, because apparently that's supposed to be a supercar. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks nice, V10, big brakes. I just don't, I don't know, it looks too much like a ricer for me. A6. The Acura TL made here in Ohio is very nice. Really like the interior. Love the wheels, exterior, great technology. It's a little expensive at 45, but you're getting a lot of car here. Looks phenomenal, a lot of nice options. It's a beautiful car. So this is the Buick Regal GS, which has a much better looking interior than the Mercedes, and offers a six-speed, which Mercedes hasn't known how to and do And when you go to a party, you can say you drive a Buick and not a Mercedes. All right, Mercedes has a better name, but this everything else build is better. Build quality. Okay, yeah, build quality Mercedes is and better. It looks better. And looks better on the outside. But the interior design okay, is better. I think we can all agree on that. And the fact that they offer a transmission that makes the car enjoyable to drive. That's nice, too. So is this the 3 Series killer, or is it a decent attempt? I think it's a good attempt, but I think a 3 Series killer has to be German and made by BMW. Having said that, I, I do think this looks better than the CTS. What do you think? What do you think? This is the ATS. This is meant to compete with the BMW 3 Series. Do you like it? Not really. No? That's not bad. 2013 ATS. CTSV in a very, very, very nice color. I'm not a fan of the chrome rims, but I think in order to have a sports car, you need rear wheel drive and an automatic and a manual, sorry, transmission, not the automatic that Cadillac sees fit for this car. And the uh, CTS sedan is better, I guess, than the wagon, which is absolutely hideous, or the coupe, which is even worse yet. So, CTSV, amazing performance. Too bad it's an automatic. Look how much that front seat is already worn out in the CTS feet. You no Taylor, it's not a DeLorean. That's what they've got. They don't BMW North America isn't here, they just have uh, the dealer in Cleveland brings a couple cars over. This is the new C3. Some minis. I don't like C3. With uh, unfortunately the automatic. The Z4. 6 Series, another T3, 5, an X3, an X5, an X6, no 7s. They forgot the 7 Series. The better version of a garden girl one. Filming for Alex, the C230 compressor. Exactly what he looked at. Except it's got terrible rims and it's a sedan instead of a hatchback. There goes the 500. 
just on our way out. It's a good show. Cleveland, the city of industry. I see a Boeing jet coming in to land at Hopkins. Now we've got this thing chooching over here. Uh, it's chooching big times. Ferrari train. Yeah, buddy. Carrying weed. You can see for miles and miles and miles, actually probably about two miles because of the overcast. More than that, maybe four or five miles. Yeah, probably four or five miles. Uh, it's good song. Good song. Oh yeah, Boston Mill Ski. I filmed that on the way to the show. So now it would be on that side. Two weeks, buddy. Two weeks. We're gone two weeks. Friggin' right. There they are. The fuzz. Alright guys, it is 8.31. We just bought donuts and chocolate. Yes, we did! Yes, we did! We got music. I don't know who it is. It's a good song. And it's loud as hell in the Falcon! Bitch! <laughs> Outside the car now. We can hear it. Very well. Windows up. <laughs> then we open the door. Wow. Friggin' right we did. And then Taylor stalled the car from putting it in reverse when the engine was at a high RPM. <laughs> Which was pretty funny. We didn't get that on film. I think Kenan did. Anyways, talking to him. It was an awesome show today. Really nice cars. Um, it was really good to get out with my grandfather and Kenan and Taylor. We had a great night. Uh, we just came back here and played ping pong until about 11, 11.30. Um, this marks, I think, the sixth or eighth year in a row that we've gone to the show. I've got a book for every year. And uh, it's been good. And I'll keep going as long as I live here and as long as it's less than $2,000 to go. And I don't think that will be a problem. So I'm just going to finish editing this. We're looking at about 12 minutes for today. Tomorrow's Sunday. Chill day. I'm going to sleep in. And I'll talk to you in the morning. Good night, guys.